My name is Roberto Mendoza. We are right now at Rapture Lounge. I am from Mexico. I born in Sonora. Almost most of my life I've been like working on bars. I was working in Acapulco, Cancun, different places. No, I love Astoria. I've been living here for uh, almost 20 years. I still haven't moved to Astoria, but when Roberto approached me and said that him and a friend of mine were opening a bar in Astoria, I thought they were kind of crazy at first, as I sit here in the bar that he opened in Astoria. But back then, this place was still kind of coming around. Uh, it's been developing for the past 10 years, uh, very cosmopolitan. When you think of New York and cultural diversity, Astoria represents that really well. Astoria, New York is the single most diverse city in the entire United States. Over here by Steinway, it's where all the hookah bars are. It's little Morocco, basically. And then over by where I live, it's Greek people everywhere. And I love it. It's awesome. Astoria is great because it's close enough to Manhattan where you can just hop on the train and get there in 20-30 minutes, but it also has a small town feel with lots of art and music and um, interesting people from all over the world. This is where the East Village was 10 years, 10-15 years ago. Artists, actors, models, people in the business flocking here in droves now for the rents and for the the fun. We were a little scared because bars keep opening up on 30th Avenue. It's blowing up. It's like New Williamsburg over there. Very proud to live in Astoria. Very proud of Astoria, what it's become and what's becoming. And uh, it's just a wonderful area. My name is Gladys Favara. Roberto is my ex-husband and my partner in the business. Uh, my ex-wife is my partner. Uh, we decide to um, keep the place together. <laughs> Same thing as being married. I just don't have to deal with his personal life. <laughs> Gladys is great. Gladys is like, she's like even keel, you know? It's one of those situations where, you know, she hasn't been in this business other than owning. So she didn't have the years of craziness and debauchery that goes on when you work in this business. She, she met me in this way. She knows that I'm bartending. She, she used to come and visit me when I was bartending sometimes. And, my name is Sabrina Mendoza. My dad is the love of my life, that's for sure. My dad is the owner. My mom is the real owner. Well, I don't know exactly what went down, but I guess, I think when they got divorced, I think she, I think she was the one that signed the papers and he just said that he owned the place because he's a guy. Sexism, but yeah. Sabrina is definitely, definitely a piece of her father. They're cut from the same cloth. She comes once in a while, I don't think she like come a lot. Now at this age, she's, uh, she's hanging out a lot, a lot with friends, boyfriends, whatever. Sometimes she drives me crazy, but I think that's part of life. I don't know, since I saw her born, I know that she's my real soulmate. She's, I, I love her. I am alive because of them, thanks to my father and my mother. And I love both of them, unconventionally. I mean, wait, no, I just really love them. Hendrix, your food is here, buddy. Don't be shy. Hendrix, <laughs> my good friend Hendrix. I found this dog um, five years ago. Oh my god, I love Hendrix. He's so cute. He's so, like, fluffy and it's awesome. He doesn't know where he is half the time, which is a... I mean, yeah, because he's blind, but he's really awesome to hang out with. Hendrix will break your heart because you know that dog has gone through some serious BS in his life. He lost his eyes. He was uh, abused. The person who has it in upstate New York tied him to the uh, to a post and by the road, and he got hit there. And he was like three days on the snow. And they bring it to the vet. The vet have to remove the eyes. Uh, the vet recognized the dog because he was there before. So they went to get the guy. The guy paid $10,000 fine uh, instead of being in jail for one year. And then the, the dog went to the shelter. In the shelter, nobody wanted it. So he was there for almost six months. And 
they were almost putting him to sleep. So uh, mm, I went to check it out. And as soon as I went up there, we connect, we plug. We are really, really good friends now. It's like, he's an awesome dog. It's incredible. He is right now outside. He's waiting for me. He stays here till like around eight o'clock when everything starts. He had it rough. And now this dog has the best life ever. He lives at the bar. This dog eats better than me. A pound of chicken a day. He relaxes and everybody who walks up here gives him so much love and attention. And that's what he deserves in his little retirement that he's got going on now. His doggy retirement, as you can see as he sleeps over there. For us, Astoria is known for its nightlife. Astoria is known for having a lot to do. Um, a lot of people from other parts of Queens and Long Island come into Astoria to hang out. So this is an alternative that I'm really happy starting to see to begin to develop a little bit more. If you go up one avenue up from here, 30th Avenue, everything's so flashy, everything's open. But this is a quiet place that has really kind of held its own in the good and the bad times in the last few years. And to see it doing well and to finally making its mark in Astoria is a wonderful thing. We opened Rapture Lounge uh, eight years ago. Rapture because it was a song that I loved, that it was like playing in the, one of the clubs I used to work in, and it was called Rapture. I started checking what it means, so I, I went to the dictionary, and it's like a state of uh, bliss, there's like uh, ecstasy, so it's like, I think that was a good name for a bar. This place has, you know, this, I don't know, this place has sort of a, it's a family mentality. And again, the place is owned by bartenders, so it's not owned by corporate, it's not owned by uh, guys who had money who thought they wanted to own a bar, it's owned by bartenders. And everybody here has been in the game a long time, so when you, when you get into that, that family and you work within it, it's a, it's a good situation.